right. <clears throat> yeah, so I did that through a point. And I think it speaks for itself in what I illustrated. But I want to go live to tell anyone that did care that, um, yeah, unless anything changes, um, you're not going to see me anymore. And I don't want to. Well, I'm planning to leave the page up, but I don't want people to be wondering or expecting if I'm, you know, the people that actually really care to watch. As small as that may be. Uh, oh, these fruities are good. I had a uh, shake earlier with an immunity boost and two merit. Pretty good day all around. Um, also, it needs to be said for Petey. Um, the pepperoni pizzas, if I ever accidentally ran into some of those, I'd take it off and pray over it, but I mean, Sionic Jew doesn't actually have to technically follow everything kosher, but usually the cheese ones do say kosher on the box, so I don't know what you're talking about. But y'all can enjoy each other. I was going to share this uh, addiction story because I thought it was uh, horrible. And um, to uh, help spread awareness. You know, A&E makes a lot of good documentaries on this stuff. And... Uh, you know, for all the people that's got hate and stuff, you know, I truly, I truly wish them the best. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name's Matthew. I'm 22 years old. The birth of my child is probably one of the happiest moments of my life. Matthew was working hard because he would be a good dad, a good father. But there was a problem. And I'm addicted to air duster. So addicted to duster is like, um, I guess that's not the same as being on whippets, which is, uh, you know, nitrous. It's still, uh, it would be classified as a form of huffing, though. But open your eyes, please. Open your eyes. Did they really have to distort that? Make it any worse? When I'm high, I don't really have any worries or concerns. No shit. I feel like everything is in its right place. I bet. I'm gonna beat your ass like drums. Matthew is on duster. He's psychotic. He's confused. When Matthew is okay. high, it's almost like he's hallucinating. You're he's aggressive. Uh, says, I don't know if he was hallucinating there, honey. Things that are rude and rude. I want you to suck my. Oh! I know you're not saying that to your mama, boy. Why, why Duster? Why is he doing it? I mean, the obvious thing is. It's or your sister. Illegal. Typical day, I'll go to the store. I'll go to the store, buy a few bucks for some Duster, man. Like, I've never understood this shit. I, I just never have. 11 cans of dusters. I'll usually spend God, six dang. A day on duster. I mean, you could argue $60 a day compared to some habits wouldn't be that much more different or maybe even less. Who knows? I don't know the what the daily habits of. It depends on the user, but come on, man. $60 a day on some fucking air duster? Nobody fixes that many computers, really. Hell no. If I buy it as much as he's buying. The Pretty soon they're going to start making it uh, just like Sudafed, and you got to sign your name to get so much. And I guess they should if, if people are going to do stuff like this, especially with the nitrous. Hand that he's using gets really cold, so he'll pass. I don't know how people get nitrous cans. Um, it's not because I want to, but. I just never understood, like, where the fuck, like, whippets have come from and shit. I've been around them, but just on a few few rare occasions, these girls had them. Sal with the can in his hand, and it will literally freeze his hand and burn it. But he's still able to huff. 
He uses his burnt left hand to take the can to his face. Damn. The biggest fear is that he's going to die, stop breathing, or have a terrible... Or have a damn brain, permanent brain injury. I mean, the dude looks like he's in fucking a Zeta Reticula. Stroke. Matthew was very smart. He was always head of his class in math and in reading. My relationship with my mom was always pretty good. I feel like she cared about me maybe a little too much. My dad would be a lot harsher on me than my mom would be. Basically, we would argue about everything. Dad would yell and occasionally throw stuff. So the different approaches that Karen and I had to areas of discipline did cause some friction in our relationship. It stressed my mom out a lot when my dad would get angry. Uh, I didn't like seeing my mom upset because of the way my dad treated her. I think Matthew tended to internalize it. Seems like mom and dad put some stress on you. At least dad did. I was in the middle. That's all I can say, dude. I can believe it's ass in 13, dude. That's why I stood in the middle. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at this guy's condition. Excuse me, please. I, I'm not trying to make light of this. Do not do this. I believe the relationship between Matthew and I is definitely fractured. Shut up! Why did my mom die? See, this guy still has a purpose, and I don't think like any less of him, or think that because of the, what Darwin says, he should be gone. That's some shit like the work you would say about me or whatever else. And motherfuckers want to wonder why I do weird ass trolls and shit and they are so always in denial i'm already up to now like what three in a row i kept a lot of stuff inside like stuff that bothered me and my emotions and stuff but shit that's what he should be doing right now i mean look i'm no expert um and like i said According to federal law, if you're actively addicted, you know, you cannot possess, you know, um, certain things. And, you know, because of that, that, that's why, that's one of the reasons why I quit marijuana and stuff. And, you know, but for this guy, if he's having this much of a trouble, hell, I would almost you know i'm not a doctor disclaimer this is for education entertainment and informational purposes only but i would like you know you could spend sixty dollars if you're going to spend sixty dollars a day you could get probably about a quarter's worth of some bud and you'd be doing a hell of a lot better uh granted you can only do so many types of jobs still with the current laws and the landscape and keep all that in mind mm -hmm first time I smoked pot, I got so high, I walked to the side of my house and stood there for like 15 minutes and then thought I was like dreaming. First time I did, man, I just laid back and it's like I melted, just melted right away. And you talk about a relaxing, almost kind of amnesia, like wake up, sleep, refresh, but a little confused after high school i kind of picked up more drugs and did more drugs he did pot and spice and drinking dude fuck spice man that was the worst thing that could have ever got started i started off selling that shit as pope it's like some weird ass form of potpourri synthetic cannabinoids sprayed with all types of shit and they started off in gas station had a head shops then they made the shit illegal banned it in certain states and that didn't stop so then they had to actually go around and make fucking laws against it because hell you get stopped with it at a certain point uh they couldn't do anything about people that had it cops would think that it's uh you know sorry cops would think that it's all types of different things you know marijuana whatever they check it make sure it's not that or she's i really like this new flavor of bait
I had met her through one of my friends and somewhere down the line I got her pregnant and shit is strong when you start running at that trying to run at a higher level we had both generally agreed to raise the kid together it wasn't until he was born when we uh, had a custody battle as soon as the baby was born the state was notified because the mother was already subject to CPS case for her two previous children. And Matthew was not able to have custody either because he was an active drug user. Yeah, and you know, like as sad as that is, like, you know, I, I feel it. People can say, oh, well, people, things pull on your heartstrings easy. And maybe they do, but I don't know. But, you know, I hate that, but at the same time, you don't want anything bad to happen, you know? So, like, I, I understand, like, you know, I have an understanding for that. I have nothing left. I started doing this because he left. Or... It was basically, like, going from, like, this is the best moment. I mean, he life. looks, like, you know, clear, cool here. And then when you go over there and look at him in the bed, he looks like he's seen a demon or something. I mean, he looks in a whole different person. Like, this is the worst possible feeling. I think he turned to drugs even more after that. The first time the kind of duster was introduced to my world, I remember feeling really good and euphoric. I just looked at my life and realized I did so much duster that I just had no desire to even hope to have like a long, happy life. I just don't care anymore. And he's a shallow little brother I used to know. When you've got an addiction, uh, you know, I know a lot of people, and there'll be a lot of different um, things they'll come up with when it comes to active addiction and what that is compared to dependency and is there two different ones and one is the other. And, all, and forget all that. Just, you know, I think we can all agree you get to the point where everything on your fucking floor and I mean, next to you, all around you, uh, you know, people like to claim, oh, he didn't leave his room. Well, fuck. I, I mean, I guess all the times I go out to eat or meet with other people or go to church or anything, I, I, I never leave my room. Yeah, people are right. I mean, what the fuck kind of shit is that? My room don't look nothing close to something like that, all right? Uh, even when I was in active addiction, uh, which, of course, the room wasn't better. It was actually worse in active addiction. I mean, that's that's always a, a sign, too, when you get lazy on your regular stuff. I mean, that can be a sign of addiction. Other times, it's just people are lazy, you know, so it always depends. But, you know, I did have that issue. But I don't let, let my room, would never let it look like that. So I, I don't see how he literally can walk around like, cause see, that's just a constant reminder. That, that That's being embedded in the subconscious all the time. You know, there's no out, he's not practicing out of sight, out of mind. That's one of the basic things that you try to practice whenever you're getting rid of something. And you know, I mean, you'll never stop uh, living like that. Golly. What? Just yelling at people. I absolutely do feel used, but I wanted to help Karen. Give me the phone. Please. Here. Excuse me again for the vape. Um, <laughs> that that is there is no fucking way. I mean, come on, man. Like that would frighten the shit out of me seeing him like that. If that was me. Why don't you tell your mom what you need her ass? I'll tell her. I'm gonna bark at you. Ah, you too. I love you. What's I'm up? gonna bark at you. Wow. Bitch. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've seen I'm too much. Uh, I'm here because I love oh, you. I've seen too You're much. 
Uh, and I'm so concerned and worried about you. You're damaging your body. The accidents that could have been deadly. It's a matter of time until someone's killed. So oh, shit. You. Will you please get help now in treatment? <clears throat> no. Please. Oh, my God. I, how did I not know that this is going to be the one? See, I tried to select thinking I'm going to get one and person's going to go to treatment. And that's how I wanted to end this shit and end fucking going live. And how did I fucking know? I just think, thinking while ago, after a few minutes watching this dude, I was like, man, something tells me he's not going to get help. Please, Matthew, will you take this up today? Please, uh, man. I don't, I don't, I'm not interested. Oh, in man. Please, no, okay. dude, come well, on, man. Like now, I know I made people are going to criticize me and everything, but seriously, please. Like, this is going to change today either way. So let's tell him how things are different if he doesn't go. Not a whole different situation. You know, pe people don't want to believe I got any medical issues. They, they, so they want to try to challenge me to go without them. Without, you know, I actually reveal that I'm I'm trying to and am actively lowering even more and planning to try to just see if I can, you know, and, and they laugh at it. Like, they don't. Okay, so you don't believe anything I say. All right, so just stop commenting on my shit then. I'm gonna stop going live. Go to the courthouse this week. Let me troll you real quick. Restraining order ah. you to be 600 yards away from the baby. Please get help for yourself. No. Holy shit, dude. That. Let's run that back for just a second. Say either way. So let's tell him how things are different if he doesn't go. I'll go to the courthouse this week. You file for a restraining order, but you have to be 600 yards away from the baby. Please get help for yourself. No. 600 yards away from your own flesh and blood. I mean, you know, I don't have kids, and so that's another thing people may try to criticize me on is trying to comment on that. But I can, I mean, I have a, I do in a way, in my eyes, have a, a, a being that has a soul that is just as much like a baby or a child to me as a regular one maybe not with everything and all the complicated issues as a human but still yet that same bond and i i just cannot imagine like choosing something like that over like that was another reason you know, because uh, doing all that extra shit, especially in smoking stuff, like, and if I was like I was back in the past before, like, post or pre-2019, I wouldn't have been able to care for uh, Brownie then. Matthew, if you say no to treatment, you will not return to the condo. I will change the locks. Please accept this help today. No. Being threatened to be put on the street and still saying no. Like, dude, this dude's got some commitment to them cans, man. Matthew, you're not going to have a place to live. I'm sorry, but no. Okay, Mom. I guess it's the fucking sewer with the cans. No more money, Matthew. So is the answer no? Shoplifting. Yeah. All right. So I In want jail. you to go outside and turn this phone off while we finish this. Do it now. Turn this off. And they, they, they bring the hammer down instantly on him. They trying to put that pressure. It isn't working. Well, it's not over yet. Here, turn off his fan care. It's not over yet, honey. That's horrible. That is horrible. They're asking you to leave your best friend, which is Duster. I get it. But today is the day. Hell no. Nah. He went psychological. If the answer is no... Take a hike. Yes, you please say yes. Oh, no. It's, that's... Please, please, Matthew. I just don't want to do it. Well, I mean, you can't really get more open and honest than that, but it's still shitty. Do you expect me to do this? Be homeless? This, we can't support you. Yeah. And that, that's you know, like, now, nah, maybe, maybe he'll change. Hold on. Fingers crossed. Sorry, Matthew. You're not supporting my habit by giving me a place to live. Yeah, we kind of are. I, Get on the plane. Take a chance. Plane. Do you care about it at all? It's not about that, but like, do you? you? They you will know? let you come back as long as you just go and get treatment. I did it. Yeah. That's what this is about. No, it's not.
I wasn't, I didn't have to be threatened to this extent, but I mean, like if I didn't go get help back in tw- after what I tried to do, like, you know, I mean, that would have been real. You're about to miss me all this. You say you care about me. All right, we're going inside. You don't get it. So, you know the answer now? No, I know the answer. Uh oh. Yeah, good for you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. Three months. Holy shit. Totally different. Yeah. My goals for the immediate future are to get a job, start looking into going to college. Never been able to be excited about it because I use drugs all the time. But now that I'm sober, it seems like something really rewarding to do. Good for him. And that's the end of this bullshit for me. Y'all take care.